Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. If you are new to our Zoom streaming services, I'm Zemra Lexi Newell. I'm music director for Temple Beth Or, and I'm delighted to worship with you tonight. Uh, Rabbi Citrin and Rabbi Dinner also wish you Shabbat Shalom. Rabbi Citrin is away on maternity leave, and Rabbi Dinner is celebrating Shabbat at home tonight. But I am happy to be here with you, and uh, to I'm joined by Shir and Bari, who will become Bat Mitzvah tomorrow morning, also here on our Zoom stream. But before we get to it, Shira and her family will lead us in candles and kiddush. I remind you again, if you uh, are live on your mic, go ahead and turn your mic on mute. That way we can all sing together, but we won't all be able to hear each other. I think we're good. Uh, so we join together to open our Shabbat worship. Uh, I'm going to teach you a new song. These are, if you were with me on Wednesday night for our Wednesday night singing time, you are a leg up because you've already heard this. But uh, these words are from Martin Luther King Jr. Darkness can't drive out darkness, only light. So the beginning, uh, it goes just like this. Let's get everybody in. 701, we're doing great. It goes like this. Everybody say, oh. And you don't have to be shy about it because you're doing it from home. Say, oh. You're ready, you got your part. Whoa, 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 whoa. Try it with me. Whoa, 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 whoa. One more time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shabbat Shalom. We're joined tonight by the Inbari family. Shir becomes Bat Mitzvah tomorrow morning, and uh, Shir and her family will now lead us on page two in your prayer book, and I bet in the chat in just a second we'll get a copy of the Mishkan Tefillah digitally. So follow with us on page two as Shir and her family lead us in the blessing for Shabbat. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kishare B'mitzvotav, Letzivanu Lehadlik Ne'er Asher Shabbat.
And on page five, Shir will lead us in the Kiddush. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Horei Peri HaGafen Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Horei Peri HaGafen Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kiddushanu B'mitzvotav Veratzavanu Veshavat Kudshu Veahava Uvratzon Inchilanu Zikaron Lemasei Vreishi Ki Hu Yom Tehila Lemikra Hikodesh Zecher Letziat Mitzrayim Kivanu Vachata Veotanu Kitashta Mikomim Veshabat Kutshicha Veahavah Uvratzon Inchaltanu Baruch Ata Adonai Mekadesh HaShabbat Amen. Thank you, Shir. It's June 15th. This Shabbat we mark with celebration the ending of slavery in the United States. Often left out of the narrative surrounding this day is the understanding that it doesn't commemorate the Emancipation Proclamation, which is what I had previously believed. Before offering any more history, before calling our attention to what we might do in recognition of this day to move forward as a country, I want to acknowledge my own lack of understanding, my own lack of education. I wasn't taught about Juneteenth in school. I don't know if any of you were. In fact, I had not even heard the word before I was in college, and I didn't know what it celebrated until I was over 35. These blind spots, these gaps in my learning and my understanding are humbling, to say the least, but they remind me that we all have work to do. The most motivated among us can still do more. Even the most educated still have things yet to learn. This year, in light of the Black Lives Matter movement sweeping our nation, seeking out our blind spots, educating ourselves, listening and elevating Black voices from within our community and beyond is more important than ever. As I was preparing for services tonight, I came across this message offered today for Juneteenth by President Obama, and I want to share it with you. He says, on this day in 1865, more than two years after President Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, and two months after the end of the Civil War, the slaves of Galveston, Texas, finally received word that they were free at last. We don't have to look far to see that racism and bigotry, hate and intolerance are still all too alive in our world, just as the slaves of Galveston knew that emancipation was only the first step toward true freedom, just as those who crossed the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma knew their march was far from finished or the protesters of today who continue to fight for black lives around the country, our work remains far from done. As long as people are treated differently based on nothing more than the color of their skin, we cannot honestly say that our country is living up to its highest ideals. And that awareness isn't unpatriotic. In fact, it is patriotic to believe that we can make America better. We're strong enough to be self-critical. We're strong enough to look upon our imperfections and strive together to make this country we love more perfect. Juneteenth has never been a celebration of victory or an acceptance of the way that things are. Instead, it is a celebration of progress. It's an affirmation that despite the most painful parts of our history, change is possible. So no matter our color nor our creed, no matter where we come from or who we love, today is a day to find joy in the face of sorrow and to hold the ones we love a little closer. And tomorrow is the day to keep marching. So tonight we join our voices together in song for our Sabbath. And I ask you to commit to doing what you can to be part of the solution and that long march forward. 
As we move into our breakout rooms to which each other, Shabbat Shalom in just a moment, think about what questions you need to answer. Where are the blind spots in your understanding? How can we work together to break this cycle of systemic racism, of inequality and injustice, and work together toward true tikkun olam, the repair of our world? So we move now for the next several minutes into our breakout rooms, and I hope that you'll wish each other a Shabbat Shalom as you start to contemplate those questions. Maybe another minute and then send the warning that we're coming back in just a minute. Okay. I'm gonna wait to let Rivka in until we're back all together. Okay, so far so good. One, Lexi, one minute from now or another minute? Send the one minute warning now. You know, you type a message into the waiting room or the breakout rooms. Yeah. Thanks. putting a 58 second timer on it. Oh, you can pull it back anyway.
putting together the words of Lecha Dodi on page 20 and 21 in your Mishkan Tefillah. And tonight we'll sing, as we always do, verses 1, 2, 5, and 9. <laughs> which you'll find on page 28 in your prayer book. Shir will lead us on page 30 with the Ma'ariv Aravim. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaAlem, Asher Bifaro Ma'ariv Aravim, Bechochma Potech Sherim, Ubitbona Mene Iti, Umachlif et Tazmani, Umsader et Takochavim, Bemishmaroteham Berakir Kirtuno, 
Borel yom balayla, golel or mipne choshech, the choshech mipne or. Umavir yom, umavi laila, umavdil ben yom, uven laila, arunai tepa shema, el chai ve kayam, tamir im loch aleno, the lam fed, baruch ata arunai, amariv aravi. Blessed are you, Adonai our God, ruler of the universe, who speaks the evening into being, skillfully opens the gates, thoughtfully alters time and changes the seasons, and arranges the stars in their heavenly courses according to plan. You are creator of day and night, rolling light away from darkness and darkness from light, transforming day into night and distinguishing the one from the other. Adonai Tzipa'ot is your name. Ever living God, may you reign continually over us into eternity. Blessed are you, Adonai, who brings on evening. Baruch Ata Adonai, Amariv Arabi. We continue on page 33. As you taught Torah to those whose names I bear, teach me Torah too. Its mystery beckons, yet I struggle with its truth. You meant Torah for me. Did you mean the struggle for me too? Don't let me struggle alone. Help me to understand, to be wise, to listen, to know. Lead me into the mystery. Baruch atah Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. We turn to page 34. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai with which I charge you this day. Impress them upon your children, recite them when you stay at home or when you are away, when you lie down and when you get up. Bind them as a sign on your hand and let them serve as a symbol on your forehead. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Thus you shall remember to observe all my commandments and be holy to your God. I am Adonai your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God, I am Adonai your God. Adonai Elohechem Emet. Amen. We 
continue on page 39. Standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe what we were taught. Before we ever stood at Sinai's foot, that wherever we go, it is eternally Egypt. That there is a better place, a promised land. That that winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness. That there is no way to get from here to there, except by joining hands, marching together. The prayer for freedom, our song of freedom, can be found on page 40, Micha Mocha. <laughs> Standing among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storm. Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up waiting to do your will. Baruch Ata Adonai, Apore Sukkot Shalom Aleinu Ve'al Kol Amo Yisrael Ve'al Yerushalayim. The words for our prayer for the comforting shelter of God comes on page 42 with the words for Hashkivenu. <laughs> of Shabbat continues on page 44. We are a people, 45, we are a people in whom the past endures, in whom the present is inconceivable without moments gone by. The exodus lasted a moment, a moment enduring forever. What happened once upon a time happens 
all the time. To continue with the words of Vishamru on the top of page 44. turning to page 46 in Mishkan Tefillah for the Tefillah. God of goodness, we give thanks for the gift of life, wonder beyond words, for the awareness of soul, our light within, for the world around us so filled with beauty, for the richness of the earth, which day by day sustains us. For all these and more, we offer thanks. Baruch atah Adonai hatov shimcha ulecha na'eh v'chodot. And our prayers are not complete without our prayer for peace. On page 60, we join together in the words of Shalom Rav. Shalom Rav, Al Yisrael Amcha, Tassim Leolam. Shalom Rav, Al Yisrael Amcha, Tassim Oh, 
spend the next few minutes in our own silent prayers. attention to those in our own community who are in need of prayers for healing. Tonight we specifically think about Sue Brim and Betty Cross, Sharon Davis, Harav Yisrael Gadal Ben Batia, Dave Griffith, Anita Lederer, Wendy Newby, Candy Paul, Rudy Pariser, Jackie Schlesinger, Laura Stein, Bruce Wayne, Alan Weinberg, and Abel Zaldberg. If there are those in your closest circle who are also in need of our prayers for healing, I ask that you share their names now in our chat, as many of you already are, as we join together saying, Baruch Adonai, Rofei HaHoli. We join together in the words of the adoration. The Elena is at the bottom of the page. 
עלינו לשבח לאדון חכור, לתת גדולה לראות ספר אישית, שלא עשנו כיקויי הארצות, ולא שמענו כמשפחות האדמה, שלא שם חלוכנו כהם, וגור עלינו ככל עמונם. ואנחנו קוראים ומשתחווים ומודים לפני מלך מלכי חמלכים הקדוש ברוך הוא שהוא נוטה שמיים ויוסר ארץ ומושב יקרו בשמיים ממעל ושכינת עוזו ושכינת עוזו בגובה מרומים, הוא אלוהינו אינו, אמת מלכנו אפס הולדו, כקטו בתורתו, וידעת היום, וידעת היום, וחשבי בוטה אל לבביך, כי אדוני הוא האלוהים. בשמיים ממעל, ביול הארץ, ביול הארץ, מתחת עינות, עינות. ונאמר, והיה אדוני למלך על כל הארץ, ביום ההוא, ביום ההוא, יהיה אדוני אחד, ושמו, ושמו, ושמו אחד. You may be seated if you're standing. Together we turn to page 290. It is a fearful thing to love what death can touch, a fearful thing to love, hope, dream, to be, to be and oh to lose, a thing for fools this, and a holy thing, a holy thing to love. For your life has lived in me, your laugh once gifted me, your word was gift to me. To remember this brings a painful joy, tis a human thing, love. A holy thing to love, what death has touched. On this commemoration of Juneteenth, we remember the countless African Americans who have been victimized and killed by ongoing and systemic racism. We lift up the names and the memory of these lives cut short, giving honor to those who have been lost. May their memory forever be a blessing. We recite together and we'll share on the screen tonight the Jewish voices across our country, these words of Kaddish for Black Lives. And I encourage you to read them along at home uh, and we'll read them together. Creator of life, source of compassion, your breath remains the source of our spirit, even as too many of us cry out that we cannot breathe. Lovingly created in your image, the color of our bodies has imperiled our lives. Black lives are commodified yet devalued, imitated but feared, exhibited but not seen. Black lives have been pursued by hatred, abandoned by indifference, and betrayed by complacency. Black lives have been lost to the violence of the vigilante, the cruelty of the marketplace, and the silence of the comfortable. We understand that black lives are sacred, inherently valuable, and irreplaceable. We know that to oppress the body of the human is to break the heart of the divine. We yearn for the day when the bent will stand straight. We pray that the hearts of our country will soften to the pain endured for centuries. We will do the work to bind up the wounds, to heal the shattered hearts, to break the yoke of oppression. As the beauty of the heavens is revealed to us each day, may each day reveal to us the beauty of our common humanity. And together we say, Amen. 
Turning our attention to those who we've recently lost in our Beth Orr community, we remember the lives of Robert Sucker and Barbara Lev. And tonight we observe the yard sites of Henry Bandel, Edith Friedberg Bernstein, Sylvia Byler, Edward Blyweiss, Mildred Elowitz, Kay Morris Friedberg, Tina Novak Friedman, Benjamin Ginsburg, Carol Goldenthal, Rose Gray, Leona Katz, Marion Bloom Loeb, Abraham Peace Loeb, Mandel Laurie, Fanny Lyons, Manuel David Margolin, Brenda Lyon Messing, Joe Mernick, Bob Myers, Carolyn Owen, Roger Popkin, Harry Rodenberg, Gloria Rose, Irene Rosenblum, Mignon Salzman, Molly Saber, Samuel Savitt, Barney Shedroff, Alice Alanek Silber, Nancy Spiegel, Elise Wolper, and Louis T. Zucker. If there are those that you would like to include in our Mourner's Cottage Prayer, I invite you to share their names in our chat now. And together on page 294, we recite the words of Kadish Yatom, the Mourner's Kaddish. It gadal viet kadash shemei raba, vialma divera hidrute viam lak malhute, vechayechon of yomechon of chaye de hol bait Israel, vagalal visman kariv imru amen, yehe shemei raba me barak le alam ume almaya, yparak vish tabak viet paar viet romam viet nase, viet adar viet ale viet alal shemei de kudisha brehu, le ilamin ko birchata vishirata. Tush bechata benechemata, damin ran be alma vimru amen. Yehesh lama rabba min shemaya, bechaim aleno real kol Yisrael vimru amen. O se shalom bimro lav, huya a se shalom, aleno real kol Yisrael vimru amen. May there be abundant peace from heaven and life for us and all Israel, to which we say together, Amen. And before our service comes to a close, I invite Stan Dare. Brief announcements from our board of trustees. Uh, Shabbat Shalom, everyone. I am, Stan, I am Stan Dara, and on behalf of the board of trustees, I want to say it is so great to see us coming together as a community through our online Shabbat services. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us if there is anything at all you need, anything. You can do so through the temple's website, www.tboraleigh.org, or send me a private chat message right now. A special mazel tov to Sharon Bari, who becomes bat mitzvah tomorrow morning at 1030. I hope you can join us online for that special occasion as well. Thank you for helping make TBO such a special place for all of us a community both in person and virtually. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, Stan. So as we close out our service, we're going to sing together again, and I'm going to teach you. We've sung this before when we've been in the sanctuary, but that has been a while. So I'm going to teach you uh, the beginning of this. The Hebrew words, there's only three. Olam chesed libane. So try it with me. Olam chesed libane. And it goes like this. Olam chesed lebane, yalalai, 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 yalalai. Try it again. Olam chesed lebane, yalalai, 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 yalalai. One more time. Olam chesed lebane, yalalai, 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 yalalai.
Shabbat Shalom. It's wonderful to see you. We're going to unmute you so we can have a foodless own egg Shabbat and wish each other a Shabbat Shalom. Until we can be back together, we'll take it from here. So let's unmute. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, Lexi. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, Lexi. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Thank you for the only service. Hi, Maria and Eli. Hello, Eli. Do you're still muted? Maria. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Michael. Hi, Maria. Hi, Eli. Thanks, Jennifer. Tomorrow is weird. Hi. Shalom. 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 Ira, hadn't seen you in a long time. Hey. Just went a few hours ago. I guess. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there. My yeah. goodness. Yeah. We got to stop, me stop meeting like that. Hello, <laughs> <Shalom, laughs> Richard and Joyce. Hi, Hi Stacy. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Sue. Hi, okay. Hi, Ira. Are you doing? Shalom, Shabbat shalom <laughs> Richard <laughs> Joyce. Shabbat shalom, Ira. Hello. 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 Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Eli. 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 Eli.